the analytical protocol now is uh, the optical rotation. And you have to know that honey is a substance with a lot of sugar in it. And if you look at sugar molecules, they have on the outside carbon atoms. And those carbon atoms are asymmetric located. And because of the asymmetric location, the sugar molecules can bend a polarized beam. So if I have a honey and I put a polarized beam, that is a beam that is only beaming in one direction, if you look at the light here, then you have light beams in 360 degrees all around. If you make a filter before that light, you can make that all the beams are only going through in one direction. Now that is what is happening in this machine. This machine makes polarized light. This, we will fill this up. We will fill this up with honey and then there will be a beam through the honey and that beam goes into the honey and then like this and then it comes out of the honey in that in that direction or in that direction. It can bend to the left or it can bend to the right. And what we know from scientific research is that a real honey, not adulterated, so no fraud honey, will always bend to the left. If you add cane sugar or other syrups, syrups to honey. Syrups and cane sugar do have a lot of the sugar. Sucrose and sucrose is bending strongly to the right. So if you measure from a honey an optical rotation strongly to the right, you know the honey is fraud. There is a substance of sucrose added to the honey. It's there is only one honey that bends a little bit to the right, and that is honey dew honey. But honey dew honey only bends six degrees to the right. That's a very small amount. So a honey should always bend to the left, and when it's bending to the right, on a large angle, you know I have fraught honey. Now we're going to test whether this is fraught honey. And I take my protocol script to it. Now what we have to do by this polarimeter of the Atago, and then you have to notice that Atago has a large scale of polarimeters, but you need the polarimeter repo 4 because the polarimeter repo 4 is manufactured for honey. Other uh, uh, polarimeters are for other solutions. So you need for a honey optical rotation the Atago repo 4. Now before you can use this instrument you have to calibrate it. And what we are doing is we're taking demineralized water and I press the power on, so I put the system uh, on working now. Uh, I wipe the measurement screen inside very clean, so I'm, all dust and all other parts should be removed. So, for operation to set the calibration point, the zero setting, uh, we're starting with the calibration. Now, put them on, power on, you will see if the battery is okay and all kind of other things. We have cleaned the measurement area in there, so all the dust and all the other particles are gone. 
and then we fill this area up with demineralized water. That's it. Not up to here. There is it's a, it's a conic system, and there where the coning system is going on to the straight system, that's the area to fill it up. So, what we are now doing is uh, uh, we press now the zero button. That's this one standing also there, zero. And what you will see is there is now flickering three nulls, three zeros, and we keep it flickering. It's now at this very right moment uh, calibrating. Now they are standing still. Now the system is uh, calibrated. What we're doing now is clean it up. The water should be going out. Clean it once again thoroughly. Leave the system on. Check if the mirror inside is very clean and when it's very clean again we take the honey sample and we fill now the same area with the honey Pay attention, you only can do this with completely fluid honey, not crystallized honey. Only fluid honey. If you have crystallized honey and you will measure the optical rotation, it's possible to do so. Then you take a small jar with a lid with a rubber ceiling in it. You put some crystallized honey in here close it up thoroughly and then put it in water 65 degrees Celsius for at least 25 minutes. Then all the crystals are disappearing, the honey is once again 100% fluid and then you let it stand down to cool down for uh, room temperature. And when it's room temperature you can fill it up and then measure your honey. So. You have to do something, but crystallized honey can also be measured, but you have to fluid, you make it fluid first. Good. Back to the machine, because we have filled it, if we have first calibrated and now filled it, and what we can do, we can measure several things. Now, what, first thing we are measuring is the angle of rotation. AR is standing here, that's the second button to the right. AR is the angle of rotation. I push it and I measure it now. So after uh, we have calibrated it, we uh, put the button on start. Then we push the second button to the right, the angle of rotation. As you see on the display, the angle of rotation is minus 2.43. But you should know that this distance of measurement is 2 centimeters and the official optical rotation uh, distance for measurements is 10 centimeters. So the result on the display should be magnified with 5. So the angle of rotation of this honey is 5 times 2.43 to the left. And that means this is real honey, not adulterated. A second thing you can do with this machine is, and then you use the button completely to the right, and then you can measure uh, the fructose, and you can measure the moisture amount. So the moisture amount of this honey is 18.4% as the display shows now. And the fructose 
is 57.4%. Now we should remember that 57.4. Why? There is also a button with the term BRICS on it. It's the right, but right button, it stands BRICS. If you put that on, you get a BRICS number. And that says, in this case, 97.9. .9. What is BRICS? BRICS is the amount of the total sugar. That is the glucose and the fructose and uh, some part of all the other sugars in it. This measurement, BRICS, is a measurement that is measured in the sucrose uh, tabelle. So to get the amount of glucose and fructose, you have to uh, take 1.7% of it. So you get 79.9, mean 1.7% that gives you a number of 80 of 87 no, of 78.2 and uh, excuse me 78.2 so the amount of glucose and fructose together is the bricks amount minus 1.7 in this case it's 78.2 we had a fructose amount of 57.4 so if you take 78.2 min 57.4 that gives you 20.8 trade it off yeah 20.8 um, that means uh, that there is in this honey 57.4 fructose and 20.8 Glucose. Now that last number, the glucose, is very important. Why? If you take the ratio glucose water, so glucose percentage, water percentage, then the result of that ratio tells you something about the crystallization rate of the honey. In this case, we have 57, we have, uh, sorry, 20. 0.8% glucose. Now, the uh, water content was 18.4. If you take that ratio, you will get somewhere a ratio of 1.13. And what we know of the scientific research of two scientists, uh, Dr. White and Dr. Rybrook, we know that if the ratio is lower than 1.7, then the crystallization time is after 12 months. So this honey will stay at least 12 months fluid. If you have a ratio between the 1.7 and 2.1, then we know that somewhere between 1 and 12 months the honey will crystallize. If you have a ratio larger than 2.1, then you know the honey will crystallize in between one month, probably in between 14 days. So knowing the glucose, you have to do some arithmetic because you are measuring the fructose, then you are measuring the bricks. The bricks is the saccharose, uh, sucrose table, so you have to uh, take 1.7% of the bricks uh, result. Then you have the result of glucose and fructose together. You already know the fructose, so you will do will have after taking the fructose off it the glucose amount and then the glucose amount uh, with the water ratio tells you if you have a long term uh, fluid honey which is for the trade a very important knowledge or that you will have a honey that will crystallize in 14 days that means if you have a honey that will crystallize in 14 days you have to start up very quickly making the honey cream honey. Otherwise your honey is crystallized and some people think that crystallized honey, 
there is something wrong with it. Completely knowledge, but some people do think it. So if you have a market where you can sell the cream honey, start with when the honey is uh, crystallizing very rapidly, make it cream honey. Okay. Yeah.